Hey guys, it's the Thrasher, and by the looks of it, I've been doing some Seven Days to Die. I've been really getting into this game. It's one of my favorites, you know? So, yeah, let's get right into it. So, I've been a big fan of Seven Days to Die, and if you didn't know, it's a really good game. I really enjoy it because it has that survival. It's like if Minecraft and The Walking Dead had a child, and you cannot really find other humans. Well, that's seven days to die, really. You have to survive, you have to make land with different kinds of biomes and with different elements you can make. Like, you can find a snowy place and you can fend off lumberjack zombies and have your own little house, or you can live in a big city and you can live in a car dealership place where someone else left to survive another place, you know? Or you can just go on multiplayer and leech off of everyone else's gaming. I actually done that once because someone was telling me to leave the game. So I was, and I found one of the drop crates, so I was like, okay, I took all their crate supplies if they didn't want to play with me, and boom, they, they'll never see the AK schematics again. Yeah, other than that, hey, this is a really good game, if you're playing on single player and if you don't want to have any of your stuff stolen. You know... But, the cool thing is, like Minecraft, it has a creative mode, but, in it, it has, like, of course, guns, other kinds of weaponry. You can build really cool houses, like, even castles and stuff like that. Or you can just make a house out of an old food place. Or make it out of like hundreds of cars. Stuff like that, you know? So, another thing in this game is... it. So, you have seven days to get ready. Meaning, to get guns to get a nice house and to get all set up before horde after horde comes after you. That, it's a pretty scary thing to see hundreds of zombies outside. So you have to make, like, of course you have to upgrade your guns from tan to purple meaning tan is the lowest and it can lose durability fast get ammo build a house or stay in a house and put spikes all around it or like traps yeah this is that kind of game survival is key and you have seven days to die it's literally the name of it I think it's kind of self-explanatory so, other than that, it, it can be really hard. I mean, even without zombies spawning, horses, I mean, not horses, um, bears can spawn and they can attack too. And there's always not seeing enough food and not getting enough food. Getting trapped in places without an axe. You know, stuff like that. So, that's another problem. But, this game is well priced for an open world game. About $25, I think. Something around there. It is on 
of course, PC, where it started from, and then it came to Xbox, which I'm playing on, with it, and PlayStation. So, that's a good thing. As you can see here, you can have guns, but, of course, you have to upgrade your guns, meaning you can get different parts from, you know, like, backpacks and cars scattered around and upgrade your rifle or your even rocket launcher until it's all good and ready to shoot. You can, like I said, you can make a castle, but just an ordinary castle. You can align it with spikes and traps and you and like three other friends can just stand on top with guns blazing as ra uh, day nine mm, carries on with about 20 zombies shambling around trying to eat your food and you. I mean, it's not as hard as Call of Duty Zombies, but it's around there because, you know, you start off with bad stuff. You only start off with some bandages, and some food, and a torch. And that can be a problem really fast. Because they can find you, and then you're pretty much done. It's over. But of course you can hide from them. It's a horror type game too. Because you may have to hide from the shambling corpses that are trying to get to you. And, of course, for another way of transportation, you can build a mini bike. You know? It's this kind of game. It's a really good game. It has... It has a lot of different scenarios. Like, I am in a desert right now. And it is very, very difficult if you found clothes and no water. Stuff like that. But my least favorite biome is a snowy biome because it always gets me killed when I'm worrying about my, you know, like, warmth. And I keep on having to spend my wood on a little campfire, and then I always get ambushed by multiple zombies as I'm trying to build a forge. It's like that. But, it's a really good game. I recommend it. I give a... 4 out of 5 IGN. It's just... It's a little hard for me. But, probably for you guys, if you're the gaming type and you know your way around zombie apocalypse and you watch that game theory video about this game and where to live in the zombie apocalypse, I think you're set. You know? Well, thank you guys for watching my video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up and you'll be supporting me with making my videos. Check out other types of videos like my Halo and Call of Duty and so and so. Check my other stuff out and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.